Everyone knows you make pesto with basil. Not this time. Actually, pesto means paste. So anything you turn into a paste can be considered pesto. And the classic is certainly basil with pine nuts, Parmesan, garlic. Um, but what we're going to do here today is make pesto with asparagus. I usually peel asparagus before I cook it because the peel can be a little bit on the tough side. But since you're going to puree it, you don't need to do that. And the great thing about that is that the peel has a lot of flavor in it. So when we puree it, we're going to get all that asparagus flavor mixed with the sort of classic pesto flavorings, garlic, pine nuts, Parmesan. We're going to add a little bit of lemon. Um, and I've got some fish slow cooking in the oven. We're going to just put that asparagus pesto on top of that. It's a sort of gorgeous vegetable topping. But really, this stuff is great on anything. You can put it on chicken, you can put it on pasta, you can put it on ice cream, whatever you want. I cook this asparagus, as you see, I just cut it into two inch lengths, trim the bottom, cut it into two inch lengths, cooked it for seven or eight minutes. Let me show you this. Here's a typical piece of this cooked asparagus. How do you know it's done? Watch this. The weight of the knife, I'm not pressing at all, goes in. That's going to puree really easily. We may need a little liquid to get the machine going, which is why I have saved some of the cooking liquid from the asparagus. but. Um, we may not. We'll see, because different, amount, different asparagus has different amounts of liquid in it. Kind of gorgeous. Put in some olive oil. When I say some, I mean a lot. Salt. Put in a clove of garlic now. I want that well pureed. And this is, you know, you can make pesto with sort of a granular texture. It's going to be a little smoother, really well pureed. Nice. Mm. Some pine nuts. Parmesan. And I am doing this, most definitely doing this to taste. And the Parmesan will thicken that up a little bit. Oh, that's super. Tiny bit more lemon. Nothing else. Actually, almost the same thing with the fish as with the asparagus. Does the knife meet resistance? No. No. It's done. And for those of you who are curious, I cooked this fish by putting just a film of water, really an eighth, an eighth of an inch of water in the bottom of this dish with a lump of butter, a couple tablespoons of butter, fish on that, salt and pepper on there. 350, 400 degrees until the fish is done, which in this case was about 12 minutes. Come on, little guy. Mm. Not quite pure asparagus flavor. Really intense asparagus flavor, but certainly moderated by the Parmesan, the garlic, the olive oil, and the pine nuts giving some crunch. Really beautiful.